All right, this place looks a little familiar. So this is a bed for one of the, what, eight by eight? How many actual eight by eight trucks? Yeah, I had 13 of them. We probably got like <laughs> seven or eight left. Narrowing down the inventory? Yeah. Put a big utility bed on it? That's one full sheet of diamond plate on top there. Oh, really? No seams? Yeah, it was eight, eight foot wide by 20 foot long. I was hired by a private consultant to make sure that you are maximizing your hourly uh, time here. <laughs> well, at least you're honest with everybody. <laughs> what, what are these tools right here? Oh, this Clint side. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, take us on a tour. Oh, I need the tour real quick. It's okay. I'll give you five minutes off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have these even been? That's never been used. We don't really get into sawzalls. You got everything has to be done with the sawzall. <laughs> it says right there. Do, do not, not separate. separate. So we did. We hit it with doing Let's take a tour of the shop here. Kevin gave me the uh, two cent tour. Toolbox tour. Toolbox tour. Yeah. Tell everybody they're giving it away. Because I'm. Because you're winning it. You're, you're, you can't win it. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's weird. Yeah, we're in the main shop. We've got steel I beams, three to four, eight by eight I beams. So is this yeah. sitting on like a concrete footing in here? There is a concrete footing. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say because that would just push it through eventually. Yeah. I've got a video on my channel doing the outside. There's so that's a concrete for... footing. There's three pad. There's actually three pads that they're mm -hmm. welded to, and then kind of poured under. But there's floor heat and all the floor. Obviously, that's for the track equipment to save, salvage yeah, your concrete, yeah. save your concrete. We got a pit over here where we change the oil. And work on the heavy stuff. Everybody wanted me to put in a pit. Oh, you need to have a pit in your shop. I don't know why you didn't do it. They're handy. It's the second one we've had. It is handy. I'm not going to say I don't ever want one. I just didn't want to hog up a whole bay in my shop with one. He does take it up. Because it, I know you probably have panels that you can sit in there to keep from having it open. If you didn't want but still, you're not going to jack up a dozer there over top of that. It's like changing rollers and stuff out, too, and belly pans and stuff. It's yeah. like... But Looking we, for leaks. We use it a lot for sure. So. Yeah, you're, you do a lot more. Well, that one goes all the way through there. And we got our four column lifts too. We can pick up like 55,000 pounds. They're all wires. Yep. I got a friend of mine has those for his dump truck. Much, but they're handy. What do you What do you think about your fan? Do you like it? That's a. Awesome. That's beyond a big ass fan. One of those. Yeah, I think that was like a 22 foot wing fan. But I see all that dirt on the floor over there. You can turn that thing on wide open. It's, it's <laughs> really? Cleans yeah. it out. It makes it bearable in some time. I'd highly recommend it. It gets very, and it's yeah. Real quiet too. It is, yeah. Now, if you turn it on the 100, you can hear it chopping. Yeah. Like, you don't have to wear a microphone if you turn on the video if you got up on the 100, but you'll hear the thing. You can start sticking it on the video. <laughs> he wouldn't be happy. Be messing up a weld there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of clustering now. We're working on all kinds of stuff. I see that. We got the uh, Snapple. <laughs> Red Dog, watch your guys' channels. No, I don't think. He's I don't know. Look at the, the penetrating oil over there. <laughs> well, you got the two for can. Yeah. Like that. So not separate. <laughs> Double, for the for when it's really for the for the when it's really been on there. I think that the uh, D7 got you know a couple cans used uh, on it. it. Yeah. 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 There are some pretty nice looking drill bits, but they remind me more of masonry bits than of metal drilling bits. I mean, you can. We used to actually in the machine shop uh, to drill railroad car bearings. Yeah. We would have to drill grease holes in the in the race. And we would use masonry bits to do it in a bridge port. He gave us a wheel to sharpen them too, so I don't know. All these are the Harper Freight? This is the Harper Freight box? Oh, yeah, there's a few snap-ons. A few yeah. snap-ons in there. Yeah. But this is the probably enjoyed. That's a nice yeah, one right there. Nice. That's pretty nice box. Yeah. Where's Master Force? Is that Menard? That is. The box comes in Menard. Believe it or not, Harper Freight didn't have no fill box. Uh, really? Yeah. I, I ended like up with, box, yeah. But it, I wish it did have this. I like the. That is kind of nice. Mine's got a little thing you got to slide. Yeah, mine are just detented. Yeah. I don't like those slider deals. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, 
last cut. We got uh, 1941 Monarch over there. Oh wow! Still trucking. So you're pretty much set up like you can make any of your panels you need to now. Yeah, yeah we make all kinds of stuff. We got 120 ton parts for over here. Have you seen the safe pockets on that bed wall go? Yep. We've been all of them in there at once. Oh really? All 18 of them. So you just yeah you can cut it up and just cut them off. Yeah. That'd be nice. So I want to get a small we can press break. Bend but... an eight foot sheet, quarter inch thick. Mm -hmm. so that's right that, so. Heck yeah. That's pretty cool, just kind of being able to make everything you need yeah, there, for the lot, most part. A lot of stuff, you know, so Tucker's learned how to run a lot of this stuff, too. Get so. it all programmed in there. Yeah. That's probably the hardest part, isn't it? Getting yeah, everything. once you figure it out, it's not too too big a deal, so. Make all your, majority of your hydraulic hoses, too? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're not in the, not in the middle of town, if you notice. Know I've noticed that, <laughs> so it does seem like it would make it a little convenient to be able to. I try to, try to do everything in-house that we can. Handle so. most stuff in-house as possible. Yeah. How long do these last before you have to? I guess it really depends on how much you use it. Well, that's yeah, a lot. That's a lot more than. I mean, am I even supposed to have my finger in that no, stuff? No, it's fine. You're supposed to be able to drink it. Okay. I wouldn't drink it though. The guy that sells that. Tell me what it tastes like, Matt. The guy that sells that stuff drinks it. You live up there in old country. The water's safe. <laughs> it tastes like that. <laughs> no, it I'll get, it, like I'll get a year out. I'm gonna usually drain the table every year and clean. I don't use this every day. But yeah, for sure. You may use it two or three times a week, and that's it. So. We had one in the machine shop and then they drain it. Bridge grain's what they call it. It's got the expandable undercarriage. Oh yeah? Works good for bringing in all the uh, non-running. Yeah, it's picked up a few 850s in its day, so. Pretty much, what does your process work? You bring in something, you know, you haul it in or it gets hauled here after you've bought it. If it's like super dead, like those 850s, there's one over there It was dead and non-running. We'll pull that thing up, have the truck back in there. We'll pick one side up the crane. Last yep. time we used that big wrecker out front, but we'll use this big Taylor forklift too and pick up. I saw that one of them, you were dragging it with the truck yeah. and then picking it up. So we can pick up these little dozers with that forklift out there. But like, what, will the, what is this? What will this pick up? It's only 18 ton. So I mean, but it still pick up that dozer out there, right? Oh, yeah. 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 It just sits right here to help unload everything. Just leave it here for a shop too. I bought it for like 8,000 bucks and it's paid for itself. <laughs> yeah. Just the fact of being able to yep. move got stuff old, around. Old Deutsch diesel in it, so. <laughs> got to wait on the GoPro. Yep, got a little time delayed there. This is a prep area and gets brought in for paint. We work on the stuff over there and get it all serviced and checked out. We ink all the belly pans, get took off the bottom. Randy washes everything, gets everything clean in there. So we go through and check all that stuff. But you know, we're putting them back on now. This is those. I think it come out of Washington. Safe? No, it's safe. You got shipped across the country. <laughs> it was just cheap over there, so. Yeah. Shipping. I mean, you got to figure it's it. That's, just a number game. So that's a lot you got to figure into. Some like, of this stuff's been bringing less money over. I think you got all the California emission stuff. Oh, it is for sure. Are you looking into getting any of the trucks that are coming out of there? Because they got. They... All those trucks have been coming from there, so. Probably half my inventory is in California. Well, I just mean like trucks in general. Like I know you specialize in the military mm -hmm. stuff, but all yeah. the just the road tractors that they've been obsolete in, you know? Yep. So what do you call this room? Just to kind of break down? It's just kind of prep area. Get everything. Hang, they'll sand everything, tape it off. But uh, usually we'll put the belly pans on over in the pit, but we had somebody's big old D7 sitting up there. Oh, okay. The down port got brought in here, so. Yeah. Work in progress. So we're going to stick those over here, so. So everything, do you, you do, have you, do you sandblast? Stuff? We, we're set up to do it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If it we really needs it. Here. We can do some smaller parts. Yeah, I saw that, but I didn't know if you were set up like, do yeah. you do it inside or just outside? It's outside. So it comes in here, then I assume it goes through this door right yeah, here. Yeah, there's one in there getting ready for paint. This is Kevin's little special area. This is he VIP. Christmas. You noticed he got a Christmas <laughs> gift yesterday. <laughs> What's, cool well, we got, we got messages on the door here. Oh, Shut the door behind. You don't like dust in Go here. away. No, no dust. I've never seen part of the board studs like that. Yeah, they're straight. Yeah, I feel like we've done all this ourselves. Yeah. Nice 850. Yeah, this one, there's a bunch of videos coming out mm -hmm. on my channel of this thing. We bought this in off, we picked it up for that crane. It was, was that the one that you just posted dragging it through yeah, there? Yeah, that's this tracker here. What I'm not doing Oh, there's all kinds of stuff missing. Like <laughs> this whole manifold block was gone. The cab tilt cylinder, that's a transmission control center right there. Yeah. All that was gone. The cab tilt cylinder is gone. The problem in the military, they don't have parts stores for these things. They rob so they one. Just take one and start busting them for parts. So. Like, we've got all the glass. Wherever it's at, there, they'll have one, and like something right. breaks, so you just, just 
Go the grab one. Was messed up. He's probably seen that one sitting in the shop in there. You can leave on the drive on it, but it's all I got. I can hear it out. This is a J, right? It's like Michael's gun. Yeah. yeah. You just need to get one of these. I actually took this one out because it was so far. I took it apart. I probably put 10 or 12 hours on it. Right? Yeah. So this, it doesn't have much hours on it, does it? Like 900. Okay. Yeah. It's actually sold already. So So is this one going to, what color paint is this it's one going getting? back green. So it's going back green. We well, took the windows out. I was planning on painting it yellow and the charcoal color. So we took it all apart and paint the cab. Yeah. But uh, the other one we had sold, and somebody, of course, wanted, every time you sell something, somebody calls up, hey, where'd that go? Where'd that go? So we sold this one, too, but he wants it green, so. Oh, okay. I like the green. Yeah. It looks good on these. Usually the yellow sometimes sells better. You say the windows are out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Okay. So military cabs are a little bit different than the civilian ones. Yep. You notice there's a big split up here. They got this cab where it splits apart the windows on bolt. Oh, I see there now. Uh huh. And they got that same cab down there, the C130, the big cargo. So like, they're working with the height. Oh, okay. The doors come off, and then you can split the top of that cab, where you can drive it back on those big C130. Oh, yeah, I see now. Of course, they got all the lifting hooks and stuff. Yeah, you can lift that right off. I guess the whole air condition probably just, I mean, everything's right there, so yeah, all it does is just unplug. I'm sure it's not real convenient, but it's set up that way. So. <laughs> but all the civilian glass and stuff fits into it. Oh, well. A 50 flying for the, from a parachute. You know it's happened before. Oh, you know. The chute just doesn't open. Yeah. Bam. Clint's like, we'll take it. Talking <laughs> <laughs> about me. <laughs> me, we, you. I, it's not my dozer. Him. It's definitely not mine. Oh, it's a blade ripper. I don't think I've ever seen one. Backup of rippers. Sweet. Yep. That is really pull the pin out and drop them down and back up. Start they ripping. Up go forward. So 1972 yep. D7F. D7F. Military. It's and then. A May of 2000 government rebuild on it. 2000. 2000 or 2005? 2000. 2000. Yeah, May of 2000. Completely yeah, new motor or yeah, rebuilt a, motor? No, that's a new motor. That's a 3306 direct injection, so there's no glow plugs on it. It's actually a 200 horsepower version, so that would have been in a later D7Gs. Okay, so that's so going to start. This is the same thing as a D7G, other than you got to use the levers, the and disc the pedal. Your clutch, and your brake pedal. So, gotcha. Yep. Now, when they do that, they pull them all apart, put on new seals, hoses, wiring arms, and that one obviously got a new motor in it. Transmissions get all rebuilt, updated. And but that's 23 years ago too, so. Correct. But you said it's probably, it's had what, 700 hours put on it since? Yeah, yep. I'm guessing it's probably double that. That's usually about right on the hours. About how many it had on it? I'd say it's probably got around 15. These, I'm guessing these are probably the original tracks and rails and everything on it, so. Of course they're dry, they're not lubricated back then too, so. Skip the these Yeah, those are kind of sweet. Really? They're gonna be terrible, but. They're not lubricated like your are they gonna models. Are they going to sound like my uh, 953? Is it squeaky? Horrible. Oh, no, it's not going to be that bad. To the point I have to wear earplugs. I mean, yeah. you need to wear earplugs. Yeah, I wear them anyway. Yeah. Now, these pads are pretty tall. I got to clip corners on them. Yep. All kinds of adjustment lift them under here. We rebuilt all the cylinders. Put uh, all the levers freed up and all that good stuff. And they, and they spring back now. Yep. Got a brand new radiator in it. It's kind of like you went through all this stuff once. I feel like I've been down this road before. Oh, armrest is missing. Oh, I don't know. Good. That's a... Slightly better... Uh, well, not really slightly any better vision view. It's got the offset. Is it, is it going to have a big chrome stack on it? Well, it can. I've got a brand new black one for it. <laughs> so what... So my D6D, that's like yep. a 34,000 pound yep. dozer. This one's going to weigh 49,000 or so. Oh, so is that much more different? Yeah, there's okay. Of, there's a lot of weight in these things. So, so I was, I was thinking like... With the ripper, like, they'll weigh 52 or so. They're pretty heavy. But so the gonna... D7Gs have a 12 foot wide blade and these have 11 foot. So they're actually a little bit more aggressive and these have the semi-U blade too. So I noticed that it's going to try to carry the dirt. And yeah, like it's a, the 7Gs, all of them had the straight blade on them. Correct. Well, being under 12 feet, it's a little easier to move oh, around, yeah. too. Once you get over 12 foot, you gotta have the, there, I think you, you have to have car. the pilot car, yeah. And that's probably the whole reason the military did that. 
Make, so well, I mean, it doesn't really matter for the them, set, but... No. The 7Gs, I'd have to take impact with me and take one cutting edge off to get it under And you got to turn it up, yeah. yeah. I've seen that going in there before you yeah. take it and you just... Because like 12 foot 2, I can take one cutting edge off and just flip one up and get by with it. Yep. Yep. She ready to fire up? Yeah, probably disconnect down there on the side. She's backing up. I just wanted to let you know that uh that is three two one <laughs> my gracious it scared me I and i was doing it, was it. Working. <laughs> that's it you don't have to preheat nothing so. ready yep. that's starting
Your bucket's bigger than mine, but at least mine's dug that. dirt. Yours is running, though. Mine's running. It's just not hooked up. <laughs> One day. One day. One day. Just we just want... Don't hook it up to the headache ball. Yeah, I've got a headache ball in over. It's probably a little bigger than your headache ball, too. That's yeah. That's little wrecking ball from is back it? in the day, yeah. So what you're saying is I'm not going to be able to take that home with me. No. No. That's our shop tool sometimes. Oh, every now and then you need a, some brute force. But like Matt said, I, I do like the idea of making a sign out of that right there. Yeah. Are they that's froze like that? Yeah, how, why are they like that? Well, that's how they got carried over the fork. And sat the down and they stayed and said, huh. get real close to it. I mean, I was sitting there looking at it. That could be a... Well, it's yeah, not going to go that way, but yeah. she kicks out. You might be doing the dance there. The danger zone. The here. danger zone. This is the uh, Richie Brothers parts and in-off aisle. That's this right, I need yeah. <laughs> this is my people right here. My people. Gotta keep it back in the back corner. Tucked away. You know, it's nice just coming around and getting a parts when you need it. Well, yeah. You got these little critters here that's making a home in there. Oh, yeah. No, it's just rotted. They come out of water. All sorts of stuff. Four pickups. Like Love some four pickups. Where's the uh that one used to have that silver cab come off the one I was driving out front. Oh uh, what think. happened to the one in Florida that they cut in half on you? Well, after... sitting out front. Here's the uh, back half of the bed that's not right we got in. They gave us the wrong back half. I think <laughs> you and dad may have marked that one out too. We did, he painted it on there. You what? Got a nice real one it's a newer like a ninety nine newer super duty. That That's your guys' spray buttons. paint, but it's still getting figured out. Hey, Good. the same creek cleaner as your uh, 977 here. That one looks like a soup pot. I know. He's like, man, why do you have a soup pot there for a bird? I was like, that's it right there. In all the like, videos, I never saw the sticker. You know? It literally just looked like a soup pot over the intake. I was like, you seem like you do everything pretty legit. I can't believe you have a pot just around around <laughs> Oh, Betty. She's a, she's a farm machine. That's right. It, uh... We loaded what? I wouldn't stand right there. That might be a slight liability. <laughs> <laughs> How many loads of dirt did we load? I probably loaded like 15 loads of dirt with it in the off-road truck. I did four. Yeah. I spent a lot of time on one of those. So like, until it gets warmed up, you use the hydraulics. It's like... It's but it's got plenty of oil in it. 40 grand wrapped up in yours, you said? No. Never, never, never. So trade, trade, you trade. know. Nah, so that, know that'd be that. a pretty good trade then. Like uh, it's pretty much the same tractor. Yeah. Just got a bucket that on it. That one might be a little bit yeah. better. Yeah. Might be able to get some parts off that one to fix my. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks like long. Just look at those progress. That looks good. It sure does beat that. Uh... You got a Komatsu, don't you? Yeah. yeah. No, I take my Komatsu over deer. I'm not a deer guy. What's on me? No comments. <laughs> hey, I'm not talking to them. I really just I haven't run them very much. I like. I don't like this kind of kachunk kachunk thing. Kachunk kachunk. My big thing with like the cat K models is this same kind of tiller, and I hate it. I like like a D8 tiller that pivots. Yeah. I like that much. Everybody's got different styles and stuff. No. The loggers wore the new off of it, huh? One owner machine, bud. It's sold though. Oh. It needs undercarriage. Now I'm going to say, is it going to get on the trailer? I hope so. It's sold? It's sold, yeah. I well, gave the guy a number for trade-in, and that's what we got back out of it, so. Oh. Yeah. It needs 20 grand spent on it real quick, and you've yeah. got an old machine yet, and I'm like. I bet he'll run it for another 2,000 hours like it is there. Puts on. You get another season out of it. Another season. Sound like we're gold mining here. We'll get it. We just got to get one more season out of it. That's it. I, I just can't get over how like white smooth it is. Like it didn't miss a day of work. It didn't. Sit I don't know if you've been in the woods and seen loggers, but yeah, they it oh, come I in know, all shiny like that. It's been sitting there for a couple, three weeks. But. That's polished from. I would have loved to see it they, just look like being in the woods. They were working at that's for sure. Well, a lot of those dozers that you know run a like a drum chopper or something like that. I mean, they're literally driving through eight foot tall, ten foot tall trees all look, day long. Rods been welded back together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, it was better than that one that was in Florida. Remember that? Had a tractor supply cylinder on it. This is, I guarantee you that's from running, laying a saw. Oh, it's a chainsaw. Yeah, you can see all the marks. The thing. Inner tube for the seat. My God. I can't stand a seat like that. No, that's, I can't. They get right every night. It's just miserable. 
and ever and like nobody seems to care about a, a war out seat. I'm just like, well, I'm let's. Guys come in here and I'm like, you need anything else? Done? I'm looking for seat. Yeah, I don't want to fix it. But you don't want a seat? Right. Can we put a new seat on? Those are some wide pads on that. Yeah, this is what we sell in the Seven hundred. Oh no. The loggers love them. What are those thirty twos? Thirties. The thirties. But they have they're like down to like three and a half. But a seven hundred only weighs what? Thirty thousand? Thirty thousand. Yeah. You're down to like less than four four PSI. Yeah. Yeah. A little shiny. What well, year these are early nineties, aren't they? Late nineties? Eighty eight to two thousand is when I made those. We rebuilt the transmission that one. There's a video on my channel of that, so it's only got like 1100 or 1500 hours or something. Oh, wow. We moved the earth. That's the original one owner. Both those tractors are original paint, like 3500 hour machine. That cat's like 2000 hours. Oh, wow. Free emissions. That's the same one like that, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. But that one's got only got like. 1900 hours. It's one owner got all the paperwork and records with it since new. No, oh, um, wow. original paint 18,000 pounds. I remember going to like Monster Jam and stuff when I was a kid, and these were brand new. Yeah, isn't that one like push button start? <laughs> that was the first grader I learned to run. Dad bought this in the late 80s. <clears throat> What did this thing probably cost new? 40, 50? Probably, I don't know. That's They're a good, good return investment. Yeah. Yeah. I know when it got burnt, the insurance company paid 20 grand to get it fixed, and I thought what it was worth at the time. So. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, this is the first one I uh, had the rippers on the front. Yeah, these are good grand, the, the B models. But. They're actually very comfortable because you got both. I mean, it's just like my feet got both blade controls are on the That's right hand side. I did. I was, I was pointing at it, see if you uh, saw it there. Yeah, they come out just in 1966, <clears throat> but way ahead of its time. I like that. See, I've always thought it was aggravating with the cat, with the blade on each hand. Ridiculous. Because you you're trying to, if you're in a the curve. Shift and the, the tilt's on one handle. Yeah. I mean, you're always using that. My galleon's not even that way. you got both, they're both on one side. I mean, it I makes sense. I hate getting in an air John Deere graders and they're changing the cat. Where they're, they're just, yeah. And I'll get in the cat ones, and I'll pull that left lever next to it, and it's a wheel tilt. You'd be going along, and the wheels are tilted, because you think you're picking up the left yep. blade. Fire it up, I want to hear it. In there. There's a push button, isn't it? Push the clutch in. I thought the one I used had to push the clutch in. No. Then killed it. You'll probably want me to buy batteries for it since it's sitting over here in my lot. <laughs> you have a battery distributor because you probably go through a tunnel. I buy them by the pallet. Buy them by the pallet. It's got the old six volt batteries in it. Two of them, six volt on each side. Oh, oh, those, those, ones. oh those little skinny ones. Yep. Yeah. Put twelve volts in there. She'll fire up real quick. Nice cold AC, isn't it? Better than it, I think. Now they're comfortable. The paint's gone well. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I didn't line it back up.
running out of fuel? I just got out left it. <laughs> Don't worry, it bled down pretty quick. I'm sure of that. Let's check it. What did we do? Did it check that slot for the tunnel? Northwest. It is. It is currently locked in at the 45 degree boom angle. Well, my boom don't go up or down right That's now. That's why I'm saying it's locked in. She's there. Everything else works on it. It's about right for drag line. Oh, I mean, it's about perfect. It's, yeah, that's why, how I feel. It's so. about perfect. We did a bunch of undercarriage work to it. All kinds of videos on the channel of it. And just she's just... dig with it yet. Offers are just coming in left and right oh, for it, aren't they? I mean, this is what's bringing people in here. It's got a 12 liter four cylinder in it. Four liters, it's got a Murphy MP12 in it. The pistons on the thing are like coffee cans. Pretty neat. Buckets. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen oh, they're uh, awesome. an inline Murphy. I think they're always V engines when I see them. So when I went and looked at that Northwest, I was, obviously it was a little smaller than that. I told the guy, I was like, you know what, it's it's past what I want. I was like, all I want were the, the plates off of it. Yeah. The yeah. ones off the boom. Me those pictures. And then he took that. He had a guy. He's like, yeah. it's been like a half a day trying to drill those rivets. I have so much respect for the guys that built these back in the engineering room and these things. Exactly. And stuff. Mm -hmm. and that motor's awesome. And the fact that they still work now. What is, it's a Northwest what? 41. It's 41, okay. They had some bigger ones that had the counterweight and stuff on them. But. Yeah. You're gonna make that sign out of the trash map, do you? Yes, you could. You're gonna drive it. You must drive it. No, it'll be on my trailer. I can I don't, tell you that. You must drive it. I don't want it if it's a hydro. Those are some of those like hoses that. I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah. They still got a little life left in them. My case backhoe had some on there that looked like that, and you'd be surprised how much longer they'll run. Well, my backhoe. But well, then I it'll... realize this is part case, the whole back of its case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard that. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about Actually, that. I've seen some of these painted up with the case. They're oh, yellow yeah. with that That's the case. That's a case 580C or D backhoe. Yeah. I'll really have the That's pretty cool. So they come with a hydraulic chainsaw, impact, and jackhammer, and drill. What was the purpose for these things in the service? Well, will this one start to at least unfold it? Uh, I would, I've never seen one actually. It's unfold. sold going to Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. Wasn't it sold like in February to go to Australia? Uh, probably like three years ago. Oh. So I would love to show it to you, but my luck are going to start up and Something's still going to happen. Hose, I understand. I got to work on it. Yeah. You're going to stay here and help me. What about one of the. Well, those, uh -huh. those, those, those don't run. run. We're, we're going to have to. This one's been sitting here so long, I hate to touch it. I've been starting it up and loading it on the trailer, so I don't need more work. But they are cool. They're very cool. They're very unique. Very. You go on my channel, you can steal a video and stick it in there if you want to. See okay, that. watch it Watch it dig. <laughs> yeah, you were over there, like, digging around, moving dirt. Yeah. and. I've had, like, 140 or 150 of these things. Just having a ball over there. It's spacious. Those, that top bed folds down into bunks. You sleep two people back there. Did you ask if my people could read the writing on the... Yeah, I, my people told me what it says. It's nothing bad. Okay. Your people. Yeah, just tell them to drop it in the comments below and they'll yep. tell you what it Drop means. it in the yeah. comments below. Let us know what, what that I know says. What it says. I know what that says. It's got plenty of fuel in it. Almost two years ago it needed the fuel drained. <laughs> All these come in as in ops. In so ops. All those other ones you see Drop parked over there. Below if you know what that stuff says there. They're all in ops. Two, six twenty D. 
So what do they do for you on that lake since they come down with shipping? Out of all the ones I've seen, that does look like a pretty nice view. Harry, I'm doing behind the scenes. Pretty slick well, yeah. It, it was. Out. It does a good job. Very good job. You got solid thing there. You put chains mm -hmm. there. For sure. Wow. Here's Santa. <laughs> oh, where's Santa Claus at? Oh, you haven't seen Santa? No, the one from yesterday. It's in there. Oh, is it? You got it on display? Okay. Did you go in the land of happiness? The land of happiness? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Good? That's good. So now you know how many days it is till Christmas. I didn't catch that. Oh. Man, if you're going to go in there and not even turn on the lights, you can't even go in. Alright. <laughs> Works. I don't. Okay. <laughs> well, we won't ask you how this stuff works. Nope, Tucker's the man on this. So he makes all the decals. He does all our decals and, and some other dirt bike stuff he's into. But. Oh wow. So they are. I mean, they. I mean, they're. A lot of times you see some, you're like, yeah, you can tell that that was a aftermarket. No, but nice, I mean, it's. It's single layer. It's all screen printed. Fits good. It lasts good. They don't crack. Factory logo. They're thick. Mill. Awesome. So what, I mean, obviously this is the one that prints it, but. Yeah, he's got the printer and the cutter, and this is an older printer he had before. Okay. I think it's just a new version of it. Yep, and then just control for that. Nice. And here's some. Stuff he's got done. 50G for the one out there. Yep, he's getting ready to go through paint. 550J, 550H, all that stuff's coming up. Who installs all the stickers, Kevin? Yeah. Painting decals. Yep. It's fun doing them, but it's like stressful there for me because like he, he probably makes it look so simple and I'm over there like, oh, <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Good deal. Nice view from up here. Yeah, it's also the break room for everybody. Clint, beautiful place you got here. Thank you for taking a minute there to show everything around. It's uh it's very nice. Plenty of parts. If you need anything, you know where to look. Check our YouTube channel out. Check our YouTube channel out. Got plenty of stuff out here on the lot. Have a good vacation. He'll answer the phone most likely. Yeah, he will. Yeah, that's who you're going to talk to. Tomorrow. If you call here, you're not going to talk to me, unfortunately. No, you're going to need to I'm email. all dirty. I don't work up front. <laughs> no, you're going to need to email for Clinton or You're the man behind the scenes. That's it. Yep. Somebody's got to film everything. That's right. Till next time.